Hi Scorpio, it's a scene tarot and welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is going to be your full reading, you guys. Um, if it resonates, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, I'll have a link in the below section of the video. It will be your playlist. Scorpio, go over to your girl's Instagram and follow your girl on there. As soon as we hit 5Ks, I will be starting doing those free personal reading, readings on the Instagram. If that's something that you're interested in, it will be in the bio section of this video, okay? All right, so we're going to do your full reading. Scorpio. We're going to do your first spread, then we're going to do your feelings towards you and your person, and we're going to also do a second spread and the advice, okay? All right, Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, we have the hermit, we have the devil, we have the death, and we have the king of cups. We also have the Ace of um, Swords here. Hmm. So this is going to be communication, new form of way. Okay, I feel like this wasn't working out for you guys. I feel like for some of you could be married to this person and in a toxic relationship here, but this person cannot get out of it because they constantly think about you. I also feel like this person is stuck. They're stuck into the relationship. Like you and this person might be thinking, oh, it's time to move on. It's time to give up on this connection, but you just can't move. You just can't do it. You just can't stop talking to them. It's like you get back, um, you go back in a circle. When you know, like you want to move forward, but you can't. Um, I feel like your person um, haven't learned as yet. They're like they're stuck in their head as well with this uh, death card being here. Um, like they don't know why they feel this way, or don't, they don't know why the situation is happening. Like they just don't get where you're coming from in a situation. But there is a love here. There is love here. Like this person knows they want to be with you, right? So, and I feel like this person is coming in to prove that with this ace of swords here, it's going to be a new form of way, like they're willing to change anything for you to make this work. But this person is stubborn. They're like tied in their own way. I feel like it's like they're playing games here. Like if you want them, come and get them kind of thing. Like they're not trying to blow a fuse. <laughs> Okay, like I think this person knows how much you love them. That's the problem. All right, but there is a situation where this person is making you feel unwanted, unwelcomed, like you don't want to, like they don't want to be with you anymore, like they're choosing other things over you. Like there's someone here, like they chose someone else over you. They're very cold to you. Like they're just, something is missing in this relationship where it's just not passionate. Like the flames, like it's just cold. Cold, like the way they talk to you, the way they look at you, the way they treat you. Like there's an apology that needs to happen and this person is holding that back. Instead, they're waiting for you to apologize or say something before they even say something to you, you know? They're coming off as the Page of Pentacles, you know, very young energy here. Hmm. They're waiting for you to approach them. Could you believe that? Mm. This relationship, though, is not fulfilling for you. It's just not. I feel like it's not going to be fulfilling unless this person open up and let you know where you stand and also change things, which is coming very soon. Okay. I feel like at this point you want to like, I don't feel like you want to move on and, and, and get with someone else because you're just coming out of a relationship. Okay. I feel like for some of you, like I said, you could be going through a divorce or some of you, this person is making a decision. If you're not married, um, is making a decision based on other people facts because I see people around them that's leading them in the wrong path. Okay. And they're not making a decision. I feel like this person is probably codependent on their friends and family. But, you know, I feel like there is some healing that is going to be done and you're going to feel like 
you probably already feel like there's some healing that needs to be done like you need to be by yourself and find out what you truly want for yourself because i see this person is going to come in but they're not going to fulfill your cup right now okay they're just not they're not going to give you what you're looking for okay there's a soulmate pull here or a strong pull here a strong connection with you with this person because they're coming in as someone that cannot stop thinking about you okay the devil is also here and then we have the six of cups in reverse this person is just like yeah you know i feel like you're the one for me you know like i want another try but you it's in the reverse so i'm thinking like you need to do some work with this temperance card being here and you haven't done the work yet i feel like you don't really for some of you haven't done the work where you need to find out where, what you want okay you have to you know make sure you're okay because somebody is not going to make you happy you have to make yourself happy all right but i do see the six of swords here so you're moving forward so i'm going to clarify that hold on let me use another deck i saw the justice and everything that flipped over so obviously this person is going to choose you but um let's see let's clarify the three I'm sorry, not the three, the seven. I'm sorry, six of swords. <laughs> Let's clarify the six of swords, please. Why the six of swords here? Let's clarify the six of swords. Ooh, look at that. Three cards. We are clarified by the fools. You're, look at that. The six of swords. <laughs> and the devil. Woo! My God. Well, you guys are going to jump back into this relationship. I just wanted to clarify what you're moving forward towards. And you're moving forward towards love. You guys are in love, the fools. I mean, it is what it is. You're moving forward into love with each other. You're probably moving in with each other. Moving to trying again with each other. You can't stop thinking about each other. The fire is real. The passion is hot. And the devil, they can't stop. And you can't stop thinking about each other so there it is but there is something going on here with this um five of pentacles so let me clarify what's the five of pentacles here what's the issue in this relationship what's the issue in this relationship with the five of pentacles please Ooh, let's see here Ooh, choices look at that they made you feel abandoned they're living in regret that they did this to you though Oh my God, they cheated on you so many times. Ooh, the six of cups. I mean, not the seven of cups, excuse me. Oh, overwhelmed with option, cheated, unprotected. For some of you, this person got somebody pregnant that they're not telling you about or you found out about it. Mm -mm -mm. OMG. Let's go into your next spread, y'all. You know what? Let's do let's do your feel your you your feelings and then I haven't done a long um, full read reading in a while. I feel like because I'm off. <laughs> Y'all, your girl is off. All right, so let's use another deck and do your feelings and then your person feelings, okay? Because y'all, your girl is off. I'm like, what am I doing now? All right. All right. So we're gonna do your feelings. And then your person's feelings. So what's going on with Scorpio and their feelings in this relationship? What's Scorpio feelings towards your person? What's Scorpio feelings towards your person? Okay, what is this? These cards just fell out. Ooh, so you're willing to try again. Start over. Scorpio feeling towards their person. You're willing to give, like, go on dates. Oh. you're willing to to try again but you don't know how your person is feeling towards you you feel like it's a cycle scorpio what's scorpio's person's feeling towards scorpio please scorpio's person's feelings towards scorpio mm. in this relationship scorpio person's feelings towards Scorpio in this connection wow the sun oh my god the lovers <laughs> oh all right okay all right the death wow 
Look at that. They want to be with you. Scorpio, you and your person have just a, a, a disagreement. I feel like you guys are not on the same page with how you feel. And you know why that is? Because you're not talking about your feelings towards each other. This person feels like, okay, this ended, but they, they learn from this. They want to be with you again. They want to start over, just like how you want to start over. I feel like you want to start over from scratch. Like you're saying to yourself, if it's going to work, we have to just start as friends first. Go on dates, get to know each other to see where we at. Like a whole fresh start for you guys to actually work it out. Because you feel like there's a cycle here. <clears throat> a never-ending cycle. And you're just like, I need a new form of way to make this work. I have a lot of love for you. It's not about love, but we need a new start, okay? And your person is like, I could be happy with you. I just miss you. I have this strong-ass connection towards you, this twin flame connection. I just need to be with you. I'm going to call you. I want it to work. They just want to be with, be with you. So, you know, your person is so tempted to pick up the phone right now and call you. You know, the thing with them is they have this cold tendency about them where they act like they're not ready for a relationship and they come off as a player and you probably feel like you don't believe in nothing they say because they come off as somebody that is not ready for a long-term relationship. They're preparing to you as a knight of swords, like somebody that's rushing in just to have fun. Somebody that's rushing in just to fight and start drama because they see you moving on. Okay. This is what I'm feeling. All right. All right. So let's, you know, do your second spread for the future. And see what's popping right there, y'all. Because <laughs> you and your person just need to talk. All right, y'all need to just talk. What's going on? All right, let's see. Scorpio second spread, please. With their purse. In the future, Scorpio second spread. In the future, what Scorpio needs to know in the future. Wow, we have the King of Swords. Wow, the Eight of Wands. Oof. Oof, Scorpio. All right. Y'all get stuck a lot. Mm -mm. All right, so y'all need to talk. See what I'm saying? There's no communication here. We have the King of Swords in reverse. Scorpio, y'all need to talk. I feel like this person scares you because the magician keeps popping up in your reading in the reverse. Like they're reckless. They say stuff that's very cold and hurtful to you. I feel like this person has a lot of love towards you. You just can't see it because of their cold ass ways that they do. It's like you just don't know. You're like confused about this person, but the star is here, all right? Clearly that this person has something that they're juggling that they're, they, they ain't sharing with you, all right? They don't feel like it's overwhelmed, so this could be a second job. Doesn't have to be a third party, but, you know, for some of you, all right? But they feel like they could manage the two, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like this person like understands because the death card came up in this person like that's their energy like like first it came up in the upright where this person wants to move forward with you and they learn from the situation but in the future they're going back like I don't know why they still mad like I don't understand like it wasn't that serious you know <laughs> this is what I'm hearing here all right you running from this person mm. Yeah, because they're a player, see? They're a player. You weren't thinking they serious. But they are. That's what you don't see. Mm -mm. That's what you don't see. You're looking at them like they're, they, they sold you a dream. And they weren't truthful. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of healing that needs to be worked here. I don't see you just doing the work. Scorpio. 
I don't see you doing the work. I feel like the temperance came up before in your reader, in the first swatch. But I feel like I've seen this temperance before in the reverse, where you need to do the work. Oh, it looks like you got three more messages here. All right. Hmm. Okay. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, still open, possibilities. So I just feel like, you know, even though y'all going through this, it's a possibility that it can still work, okay? It's a possibility that you're still keeping this open. Why is this card moving? Okay. Um, the star is here. I feel like, you know, you might have been losing faith with this situation, but the stars are aligning up to get you guys back together because it's just taking too long, okay? It's taking too long. This person has to decide on something that they're not deciding on right now. I feel like this person has a fear of being alone, all right? And it's all about you. Like, the decision is all about you. If you come back to them, yeah, they'll make the decision, but right now, you guys are separated. So it's like, why should I make a decision? I don't even know if you're coming back to me, right? So you're running away trying to find out what's really going on with this person, even though you're acting like you're over it, okay? Because you're blocking this person. You're having feelings like you don't want to talk to this person. Like, uh-uh. You know, you're trying to be strong here, strong-headed. But the truth is, you don't want your person to move on. Not yet, okay? This person is coming off like, like I said before, like they don't want a relationship. But the truth is, they know you're the one. They feel it. They can't get... They're crying over you, Scorpio. This person crying tears over you. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. One in a long-term relationship. They see your, They see what you are. The nine of pentacles. Very sexy. You're glowing. You know, you don't need them. They know that. You know what I'm saying? But there is too much similarities with you and this person. This person ain't making no moves. You ain't making no moves. You both acting like soulmates. Like you, you, you mirror each other. Okay? Like you're coming off as two similar people. You're probably a Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> or, you know, your Scorpio will have a lot of ear signs in your chart. It could be about that too. You coming off cold. They coming off a lot cold too. But you guys are just like bumping heads. This is what I'm seeing. Like you just can't communicate. Nobody's communicating. You are this person. You're the queen of swords, the king of swords. In reverse, there's like shut, shut. No. Nobody taking the L on this one. No one taking the L, all right? Then you have the Knight of Cups here in reverse. Nobody telling nobody how they feel. This person is holding back all their feelings and his work needs to be done, Scorpio. I think this is the second time I'm pulling this card here. There's no work. You have to take yourself seriously by loving yourself. And I, I, I explain this a lot in my videos. There's work need to be done within you. You have to spend time with yourself. For some of you Scorpios, you probably don't know what it's like to be by yourself. Sometimes we're not destined to have a long life with someone. It's all about us loving ourselves, knowing ourselves. Sometimes we have to, how could you love someone if you don't love yourself, right? So you have to give yourself that healing. You have to nurture yourself, cherish your body. You are all that. This is what the angels want you to do, to take the time out for yourself before you can get. When you do, you're going to appreciate yourself so much more. Treat yourself so much better so you can treat someone the same. You know what I'm saying? And you can have that wall down a little bit. You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? Because I'm a Scorpio myself. I had to do the work. Okay, I had to do the work and it wasn't easy. All right, we have the death card here. We have the king of cups. You know, this person is just stuck, stuck, and they want to just move forward with this um, this offer that they have for you. But, you know, again, you know, you're looking at this person like you couldn't be the one for me. And for some of you, you could be married to this person. We have the, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles that you're wrapping up here. This person is coming off as the night, very slow, immature energy, but they're coming off. As this person coming towards you very slowly because they want to move forward with this relationship. You see? <sighs> I want to move forward. Let me see what's going on with advice. Okay. All right. Scorpio and their person. What advice do you have for them? 
what advice do you have for Scorpio and their person? All right, let's see here. I'm going to put these cards down a little bit because it's like taking up. Okay, you know what? Dove and Man. I'm just going to keep them here. Okay, I'm just going to put them here. All right, we have a leader, separation, <laughs> signs, and then we have no, and then we have transformation. So it's going to be a lot of changes, you guys. It's going to be a separation here, transformation, a tower moment, you know, something ended. You have to, you know, end something for it to start again. All right. Um, I do feel like there is going to be a time where you're like in your life, like, okay, I got to take charge of this. I got to be a better person. I got to be the bigger person because remember when I told you like, you ain't making no moves. This person ain't making no moves. Somebody has to make the moves here. Somebody got to take the L, right? So <laughs> I feel like eventually you're going to take the move. You're going to try to be the bigger person here, the leader in this relationship, because obviously your person off your person is coming off as knights. All right. Um, when they're trying to approach you. All right. They do want to offer you this long, stable, committed relationship in the king of cups. I do see them doing that. But a lot of their feelings, they're hold back. OK, a lot of their feelings, you know, like this, for instance, the Queen of Cups. They're crying over you, but yet they're not making any moves towards you. All right. You know, I do see you some time to take some, some time apart and love yourself. Heal again. Take yourself out. Treasure yourself. Buy yourself some new things. You know, get to the spa. Do your toes, do your nails. You know, um, you know, just get your hair done. It, go to the movies on your own. I talk about these things in my videos a way to date yourself i feel like you need to date yourself first and get to know what you want to do and it's some and this moment here is happening because of all of that you need to give yourself the time to heal all right and i feel like for some of you, you might be jumping into relationship after relationship like you haven't had any time to breathe all right this is not the right time for you and this person to get back together all right i feel like you need to take time out for yourself to transform into something that you can actually say okay i'll be okay when this is all over even if it doesn't work out i'll be okay on my own but this is what i see for you scorpio i hope it resonates if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up on the channel um and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys